Hey everyone. Welcome back. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm David and this is my beautiful wife, Nicole. We have been married for 22 years and we have three children. We will be discussing much of that on our channel in future episodes. So we hope you'll stick around and subscribe to our channel. Because you don't want to miss it. Today, we're going to be discussing some things that we think are very important in a successful marriage. So this is most likely going to be a two-part video. So in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the husband. Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. For he shall be like a tree planted by the river of waters, that will bring forth her fruits in due season, whose leaf shall not fade. So whatsoever he shall do, shall prosper. My wife has written down six qualities in a husband, and I have written down six qualities that I deem important to be a good husband. The uh, first one, attentive. What I mean by attentive is basically paying attention. With the world of being so busy and with everything else trying to uh, grab the attention, the most important should be your wife. You want to know about the things that that are going on. You know, sometimes she may not even talk. It's just like the how she's acting or the, or the mood that she's in. It doesn't mean that she's in a bad mood or anything like that. There's just something that is on her mind. And so you have to pay attention to those keys and go, wait a minute, something's, you know, she's not acting herself or something's wrong. Basically, it's just knowing your wife better. My first quality that I've chosen for a husband is a godly husband. Um, the Bible says, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. A godly man will love and respect his wife because he loves and fears the Lord first. He has a heart that's set on obeying God and the scriptures direct him on how he should live. So my second choice, and again, there's a lot of things that go into being a good husband. And the second one would be patience. God didn't design the woman to be like the man. God did not design her to have the same kind of thought process and desires and feelings as a man does. I'm not saying we have to get in touch with our feminine side, but, but we do need to be patient when we don't understand, you know, why she thinks a certain way or why she wants something a certain way. It's being patient with her and trying to understand her point of view. And he's, he's learned that. He is a very, very patient man. Um, a very, very patient husband, a very, very patient um, father. He's, he's always ready and willing to listen to me, um, especially as our marriage has progressed. He is always willing to sit and listen to my ideas or listen to, you know, an issue that I'm, I'm having, and he's very patient. So my next one is tenderness. Um, I think that a, a wonderful quality in a husband is tenderness. And this one's beautiful because the ways of a man is more rugged um, and more rough, but he learns to be tender and treat his wife with care. Being more delicate in the way that he treats her or the way that he talks to her. And my third one is communication. That is a big one. Um, that goes for both sides, obviously. Uh, but communication, because again, as I just said, they don't have the same thought process. They don't see things in the same way that we do. And so communication is key, you know, and that's something that I'm still learning. Trust me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the greatest communicator. If you don't have a good communication, you don't know where you're going. Sort of like your walk with the Lord. If you don't have a relationship with him, if you don't have that communication with him, then you don't have a relationship because you can't have a relationship unless you have communication. So my next one is understanding so or compassionate. So I kind of put these two in the same category. So like we just talked about and like you all know, um, men and women are not created equal. We're not the same. Fun fact, before the Lord saved me, 
um, I was actually an advocate for feminism um, and was raising my daughter to also um, have that mindset. There are things that men can do better than women and vice versa. That's right, because they can have babies a lot better than we can for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. What? Just saying. Thank you for that. I don't think that you can at all. So. <laughs> Just because something affects him a certain way doesn't mean that it's going to affect me the same way. So he takes into consideration my feelings. Um, he knows that I respond differently to things than he does. And he has learned through our marriage to guide me through things with gentleness and in a very loving and kind way. I walk away from the situations knowing that he loves me and that he cares for me and that he cares enough about me to place himself in my shoes in order to help me through it. My uh, next one is selfless. It's, it's not about me. Uh, it's it's sometimes you might do the things you don't really care to do. We are to love our wife as Christ loved the church. And that is selflessness. Maybe there's something that you really want and you're working hard for it, but then you realize that your wife wants something. Or needs something. Yes, or needs something. Or well, needs something. You, you know what? You should be willing to just go, you know what? I'd like to have that, but I love my wife more. I love my family more. So that's, you know, selflessness. And I would also say um, the way that you get in there and, you know, you self selflessly um, help, help us. Yeah, you know, to, you know, to, I think a lot of men these days think that they can go to work nine to five, come home and basically sit on the couch and because they're done with their works, you know. But my thing has always been, you know, you come home and you help her, you know, especially if you have little ones, because her job is 24 hours a day. And if you're gonna be the father, and you're gonna be the husband, you need to, to get in there, uh, change the diapers, feed them, do whatever you need Play to. Play with them. Yes, play with them. It's very important um, to get in there. Yeah. He has a beautiful bond with our children, too, because he would do that as a young father. He would get in there, um, and I know, because he had a very, uh, what, physical labor job. But he would always come home. He would grab a shower. I would have dinner on the table, and then he would play with the kids. Um, you know, we have tons of family videos with him playing dinosaurs and you know whatever just all kinds of different things with the kids he was never too tired for them um, and I think that that is absolutely precious so my next one is, is trustworthy um, so as a young wife and mother I was pretty insecure although I would have never admitted it to be completely honest throughout our early marriage I would always um, have this fear that another woman would would come in and swoop him away however he has shown himself faithful and worthy to be trusted I don't worry about him being tempted um, and it's not just because he loves me but more than that because he loves God because of his strong devotion to God. And this is what gives my soul peace. <laughs> Again, there's a lot that I could talk about. I know this may sound a little like a younger couple, but we like to flirt. And I like to flirt with my wife. And so I'll do things to catch her off guard or if she, or if she's doing something you know, and, and she's doing something very intently, like I'll just stare at her because I think she's so beautiful, and I'll wait and stare at her until she realizes that I'm staring at her, and then she'll look at me. <laughs> um, because I want her to know that, you know, just because I said I do, and she said that she does, doesn't mean that all that just goes away. And again, I want her to know that she's the only one for me. Flirting to us is important. 
it keeps things going, it keeps things young, it lets you know mm -hmm. that they're still interested in you and you're still interested in them. Like a young love and I think it's it's precious because he keeps things fresh with me. But yes, keeping it, keeping the relationship young and um, just knowing that he has eyes for me, that he, he thinks that I'm pretty and he tells me that all the time. Um, even when I am at my worst, um, it's, it's just sweet little things that, that, that he does. It is very precious, I think, to keep the, the marriage young and that is by flirting. You don't want to stop just because you've been married for so long. You know, you, you want to keep it going. And it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. My number five is a husband being a rock to his wife. Um, they need that. Your wife needs to know mm -hmm. stability. Yes. She needs to know that you're going to be there for her. She needs to know that you have her back. And that there may be times where she's just sad or, or something, but you need to be there for her to be that shoulder to cry on. Let, let her know that you are there for her. Basically, at the end of it, you want to be best friends. Yeah. They should be like your, like your best friend. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that a hero just comes about. I don't think that you just become a hero. Um, my hero has all the attributes that I've talked about that are very important to me. I know that he loves me. I know that he loves his children, and I know that no matter what I'm going through, I can depend on him to be there and go through it with me. I know that whenever he is fixing to leave to go to work, that he will be excited to come home to me. And I am. <laughs> there is no safer physical place on this earth to me than the arms of my husband. He's strong, he's protective, He's dependable and he's very loving. Amongst many other things, this is what makes me love and respect him all the more. Your turn. Make sure that she knows how much you love her and how much you want her. Needing and wanting is two totally different things. You want to be with her, that you want her to be your best friend, that you want to do life with her. And how she knows that she's wanted is how you act and how you react. I've seen a lot of marriages where the one spouse does their thing and the other spouse does their thing and it's almost like a contract. It's not a contract. Mm -hmm. It's a covenant. And a covenant is different than a contract. A covenant should not be broken. And it's something that God takes very seriously. And he has entrusted me as the man to take care of her and my wife. And so we want to try to do the best job that we can. It doesn't mean we're always gonna do great. It doesn't mean we're not gonna lose our cool. It doesn't mean we're, trust me, trust me. We'll get into that later, but. <laughs> we're not perfect. By no means. Yeah. This is, this is also the difference between his personality and my personality. His personality is you know, he had made his list of what he thinks are important qualities. I wrote my list, and then I also wrote a book of notes. <laughs> and so if I'm ever looking down, then you know that that's what I'm looking at. Um, I'm sorry if that annoys you, but I no, do. No, but sh no, actually, it's something I can't do. Like, I, I'm never good at doing, doing notes. Her Bible is just like... She has one Bible that's completely full. <laughs> My Bible is in our will. <laughs> yes, that's 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 so much stuff. And right Ashley in. wants Ashley wanted to be um, the one who got my Bible because my Bible is just yeah filled with notes. And I just think that she does such an amazing job, like graphs, charts. I commend her for it. It's so funny because we're so different in so many ways. <laughs> we find so much strength in, in our differences, actually. Like, I look at him and I'm just like, I wish that I could just, off the cuff, just say something. But, but there's also a lot of times where I wish that I was like her, because that's a treasure, really, because especially with, like, your Bible, so that's something that can be passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, he's perfect in so many other ways. Um, but my last one, I don't, I don't really, I, I think I jumped the gun because whenever you were talking about helper on yours, my bonus was helper. Oh. And we kind of ended up talking about the, um, the helper. Um, I definitely 
think that it, it, it's worth saying again because it is super important to get in there. And there was this one time when Chase had was jumping on the bed and he busted his head open on the our post. This was back when I think was Jacob born. I don't think Jacob was I don't born think he yet. Was born yet. Scared us absolutely to death. So we take him to the emergency room. He ends up getting staples. David ends up bringing us home. Me and Chase. Yep. I said we were at the hospital all, all night. night, literally all night long. And um, he tucks us in bed, puts on his work clothes, and goes to work. Um, that was just that's just my husband he's a hard worker he he is a get in there type of guy and and if there's a need he's always willing to to fill it if if the dishes are behind there he is you know and we're just like what are you doing he's like you know i enjoy it you know he never makes you feel guilty about making him do it um so my bonus one would be a helper you know just getting in there you know even if you're if your kids are are teens and young adults um like we have um being willing to still get in there and have those conversations, those tough conversations, the things that they're dealing with, um, and not just leaving the wife to, to deal with things on her own. As the man, you have to take the reins. Because mm -hmm. he's the head of the home, and that's an absolute precious quality um, that I would say. But those are his six, and those are my six for the um, qualities for the husbands and the next ones we will tackle the qualities for the wives that would be great <laughs> i'm looking forward to it yes yes thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe yeah we'll see you on the next video if you haven't been here We will be the...